Good afternoon, New Hope. Just wanted to take a moment and connect with you and encourage you today. As we all do our part to stay safe and healthy, uh, I, I simply want to remind you, as I remind myself, that our hope rests in Jesus and in Jesus alone. It's a very simple statement, but the supporting truths are absolutely overwhelming. We can know our Lord by understanding him through his very many names. So let's take just a moment here and look at a few ways that the Bible refers to Jesus. Let it be an encouragement to you. In Psalm 118, he is our cornerstone. In Isaiah 9, wonderful counselor, mighty God, Prince of Peace. In Daniel chapter 9, our Messiah. In Mark chapter 1, the Holy One of God. In Luke chapter 2, he is our Savior. As we look to the book of John, he is the creator and bread of life, the Lamb of God, truth, our good shepherd, the I Am, the resurrection and the life. In Romans, the deliverer. In Hebrews, he is a great high priest and the author and finisher of our faith. In 1 Timothy, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In the book of Revelation, he is our faithful witness. He is the Word of God, the first and the last. Yes, the Alpha and the Omega. Let me highlight just a few more to bring home the idea that our God is really all we need. In Isaiah chapter 26, he's referred to as Jehovah. But more specifically, as we looked at Genesis chapter 22, he is Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. And in Ezekiel, Jehovah Shammah, which means the Lord is ever present. He is with us right now. And finally in Exodus, he is Jehovah Rapha, God our healer. We serve a healing God, a Lord who is with us at all times, a Lord who promises to provide for us. He is our Prince of Peace. Because of Jesus, we have access to the throne room. We have access to the God of creation and freedom to worship him, for indeed he is worthy. So let your heart be full of hope today. Let your heart be comforted today. Know his peace by knowing that we serve an all-sufficient God. Let me pray over you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the chance that, that we have to focus on you in this time. And God, I just pray that as you work in our hearts, as you work through this situation, God, that we would know your peace, that we would know you are sovereign and you're at work and you're in control and you're involved in our lives. Lord, I, I pray a special blessing over the congregation of New Hope, that you would watch over, guard, and protect us, that as we place our hope firmly in you, Lord, you will guide our steps, you will direct our paths. We will be quick to give you the glory, Lord, for indeed, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray it. Amen and amen. New Hope, God be with you. Go with the peace of the Lord, knowing that he is your Prince of Peace. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.